the dusty desert of Saudi Arabia all around, the incessant heat, and right in the middle of it, the replay of a world record. A single train ammonia plant with a capacity of 3,300 metric tons per day. Design, ThyssenKrupp Uda. Unusual environment, unusual dimensions, unusual circumstances. For the ThyssenKrupp Uda team, it's business as usual. It was the Samsung Engineering Company of Seoul that was awarded the contract for the turnkey construction of the plant. However, the client, Saudi Arabian mining company Madan, insisted that ThyssenKrupp Uda should supply the process, basic engineering, special equipment and the specialists. Because only the Uda dual pressure process permits single train capacities of between 3 and 4,000 tonnes of ammonia per day and Madan wanted a minimum of 3,300 tonnes. Starting up the plant slowly is routine for the engineers from Samsung, ThyssenKrupp Uda and the client. The higher pressure part of the synthesis unit is already on stream. A hundred tonnes of ammonia run into the gigantic tanks every hour, over 2,200 tonnes a day. Now, the second part of the unit is due to start up. Another 1,100 tonnes produced at lower pressure. Incidentally, the ThyssenKrupp Uda engineers are dealing with a specialist who first worked with Uda 30 years ago on the construction of an ammonia plant in Brazil. This induces comparisons between then and now, quite apart from the improvements in plant performance since 1981. At that time, it took us months to produce ammonia. Uh, it's nice to see the evolution of the design. And in here, in Saudi Arabia, in the largest ammonia plant in the world, uh, we are able to achieve this together with uh, Samsung and Ude. Uh, I start up period of only six weeks. And as of today, we are producing ammonia. Underneath the OT reactor, the specialist from ThyssenKrupp Uda's partner company, Johnson Mathe Catalysts, has erected a small laboratory. For safety reasons, the temperature and relative humidity are measured at several points. Because the catalyst in the reactor has to be carefully reduced with hot hydrogen, layer for layer. An exercise in patience that has to be interrupted time and again if the reaction doesn't work. A perfectly normal procedure when starting up an ammonia plant of this type. The same happened a few years ago, only an hour's drive from here. ThyssenKrupp Uda built the first plant based on the dual pressure process for SAFCO, the Saudi Arabian fertilizer company. 3,300 tons of ammonia per day. The adjacent urea plant produces 3,250 tonnes per day. In contrast to Safco, Madan subsequently feeds the ammonia from the plant built by Samsung and ThyssenKrupp Uda into a giant fertiliser complex comprising sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid and two diammonium phosphate plants. Routine. Fine-tuning. In the ThyssenKrupp Uda steam reformer, tail gas from the synthesis unit is slowly mixed with the natural gas for firing. The flames become more uniform. Energy efficiency improves. Lower exhaust gas values help protect the environment. ThyssenKrupp Uda. Engineering with ideas.